What we would hope is that the term open science eventually becomes ordinary, that these expectations are not novel, are not new or don't need to be celebrated. They really should just become run-of-the-mill part of the research methods and processes. I'm Sarah McCorry and I'm Senior Lecturer in Psychology of Education. I'm based in the Manchester Institute of Education. This project was led by myself and Anne Lendrum and was thinking about uh, the communities that exist in education, trying to understand the academic world of publications and research knowledge development, the expectations being put upon teachers and schools and their communication and their communities is changing. So we were keen to use that as a lens to try out the idea of a qualitative pre-registration. Within this qualitative approach, we were really interested in understanding teachers' views and we adopted semi-structured interviews as well as a series of focus groups. So teachers and stakeholders in education were involved in these and were giving us their perspectives and sharing their knowledge and different areas of interest. We adopted an open science model to this project. And at the time of the project, there was no form of qualitative, what we call pre-registration or protocol, which is essentially a planning document trying to articulate what the project's about, its methodology, its design, the research instruments, that's in our case, that was the interview schedule and the focus group questions. As this was an exploratory project, we decided to visit the Open Science Framework web pages and we registered all of the documents and the materials. So by having this pre-registration that sits on the OSF, everybody can visit that and access it. And it means you've got traceability then that can be picked up and added into your publications as well. In the qualitative world, there's a vast myriad of different data collection approaches. So there's never going to be a one-size-fits-all type registration. That shouldn't mean that researchers avoid trying to engage in this, because decision-making can be a small, discrete series of processes. Other times when it's, say, perhaps a work of co-production, it's a much more fluid arrangement that's teased out over a much longer of period. Having a means to keep those records and make them visible and demonstrate principles of open science, principles of credibility, demonstrating how the decision-making partnership evolved can be really valuable to all different models of qualitative work too.